My name is Erwin Hurst. I'm a software developer right now at CEI. And GiveCamp was just something that I saw around the community. I saw other people doing it in other cities. And it was something that I thought we could do here at Pittsburgh. Uh, GiveCamp is a chance for local uh, software developers to give back to local nonprofits. Usually we start on Friday night, we meet the nonprofits. They come in, they tell us what their projects are as a group. And we each do a little presentation, then we break off into teams. And we spend the, basically the entire weekend working with the nonprofits uh, directly, working on what they need done. Usually it's a website or a small data access uh, tool for them. Um, and then Sunday we, we do a big presentation, show, the non you know, show everybody what we did, what we were able to accomplish, and then we go home. Yeah, they're definitely not, it's definitely not anything really large. We do have to keep it constrained to the weekend, but they're a lot larger uh, they're a lot larger than what you would think we could do in a weekend. Um, probably a lot smaller than what we were hoping to get done over the weekend. Um, but judging off of last year, they're usually things like websites or migrating a website to a CMS system or maybe a small integration project. GiveCamp is sort of a larger idea, but it's not necessarily a, uh, there's no, there's no central GiveCamp organization that we report to. Um, it was started in 2007 by a programmer at Microsoft who decided he wanted to basically do this and give back to his community. And from there it sort of spread. Other people heard about it, decided that it was something they could do in their local city or town. And I, I think last year I was reading something in Cleveland where they, they've been doing this for a few years. And it was like, well, if Cleveland can do it, we can do it in Pittsburgh. So if you have some technical skills, we could use you. Uh, whether it's uh, a DBA with databases, a uh, web designer, uh, you know, PHP, Microsoft, any sort of open source technologies. Uh, there, it's not limited to any type of technology or any one skill set. There's going to be a lot of other real experienced developers there. So even if you're not familiar directly with any one technology, you can still work on that team. Some, someone's going to be there that'll help you and you can still uh, contribute to the, you know, to the project as a whole. Um, you know, so we're looking from a from a volunteer point of view. We're looking at anybody that just wants to, you know, be a part of the weekend and give something back. So last year we had it at a company in Bridgeville called DDI, and it was a great place to have it. So this year, uh, when the time came, we just sort of sent out a few emails to local schools and companies to see who was interested in it. And Josh Sager here at PTI kind of stepped up. He really liked the idea and he presented it to the management. Everyone at PTI so far seems to be really behind it. It's also something that's great for the students to get involved in. Uh, they're going to meet a lot of people, do a lot of interesting projects over the weekend. Resume builder for them? It's absolutely resume builder. You're going to be working on a real project. You're going to start the project Friday and you're actually going to have it done on Sunday. So you'll have a real you know, working website or program out there that you were able to work on. You're going to meet some great people, learn some new technologies. Uh, it's absolutely something that you could, you know, talk about at your interviews and put on your, you know, put on your resume. It's something that would stand out to me uh, if, you know, if I definitely any sort of social, any sort of giving projects that you've done, whether it's an open source project that you've given your time to help support, you know, technically over the web, or you know your local community, anything, even if it's a personal um, project that you've worked on, any, anything's help, helpful on a resume. So what we're looking for are nonprofits that need some kind of technical help to come to our website and sign up. Tell us what your projects are because we have a lot of volunteers that are signing up. You know, they're interested in helping and we just need a direction, you know, tell them what needs done and, and we're ready to do it. So last year was the first year that we ran a gift camp here in Pittsburgh and we had five nonprofits sign up. Most of them wanted to move their static website to more of like a content management WordPress site, something that, that they could manage and update whenever they felt like it. And uh, so they came out, we spent the weekend helping them. We were able to release three new websites, um, one data management tool, and it even started an integration project. Since it was our first one, it was definitely a lot more work than we had anticipated needing to do over the weekend to get something ready for Sunday. Uh, so this year, we're definitely gonna manage manage those expectations a lot better. Not all of the nonprofits were able to use, uh, you know, use what we built them over the weekend. So it's just something that we, it was a learning process last year for everybody. And I think this year we're going to get a lot better at it. You can go to our website, uh, pghgivecamp.org. There's also the central givecamp.org website that has sort of the high level of what GiveCamp is and, and how it all started. 
but we're taking on our website we have a sign up sheet for volunteers for sponsors and also for the nonprofits to come sign up and document what projects they need or you can contact me directly uh, erwinhurst at gmail.com i'd be happy to answer any emails